What's good YouTube, Justle Farm here. Welcome to the next part of the Justle Farm Coffee Lake PC Build 2018. And in this part guys, we're gonna be unboxing the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti guys. The Strix Gaming Graphic Card guys. And it's by Republic of Gamers with Aura Sync with Overclock Edition guys. With game ready drivers and all that guys, get ready to check this one out. All right guys, so on the front of the box you guys can see, it says Republic of Gamers right there. It says Strix Gaming Graphic Cards and NVIDIA GeForce GTX. ASUS Aura Sync, Overclock Edition ASUS, got the strikes with the RGB colors going right there. Has a nice picture of the graphic card with two fans. One fan has the Republic of Gamers logo, one fan has ASUS logo. And it says GeForce GTX 1050i, Game Ready Drivers, Direct X12, and with GameWorks. And that's the front box. The top says a little bit of the same stuff guys. On the side it says 4GB memory and all that. Same stuff. And on the bottom, just recommended system requirements. And for the recommended system requirements, you guys are going to need 4 gigabyte system memory or more. A motherboard with PCI Express slot. Microsoft Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and higher. With 32-bit or 64-bit. Minimum 300 watts power supply. And 1 to 6 pin Express supplementary power connector. So that's what you guys will be needing. Recommended system requirements if you guys want to use this motherboard in your build guys so <clears throat> graphic card sorry yeah this graphic card in your build yeah so on the back of the box guys right away you guys can see the Republic of Gamers Strix gaming graphic card it has direct uh, CU2 with patented wing blade fans with maximum airflow for 30% cooler and three times quieter performance has a SUS fan connect four pin GPU headers connected to the system fans for optimal thermal performance and these picks are just for demonstration only, that's what it says. Auto Extreme Technology, 100% automated production process for premium quality and reliability. Has GPU Tweak 2 with X Split Gamecaster. Uh, in your, in your, what is that? In your, initiative or in, intuitive, intuitive performance. performance tweaking and instant gameplay streaming. And 14 days premium license of that. And this is what it shows the LCD port, uh, ports and stuff with the LCD monitor, LCD TV. It's uh, display port compatible, HDMI compatible, and DVI compatible. Those are the ports. The specifications shows right there. Uh, SUS GPU tweak, Gamecast, 4 gb DDR, or GDDR5 video memory and stuff like that. That's it right there. The fans and the processor, I mean the chip set right there and all the the back part that's going to be sticking out of the case and it has aura rgb lighting with perfect sync millions of colors and six different effects for a personalized gaming system asus aura sync is uh, for perfect rgb synchronization so it shows those are the colors of the side if you guys would have it sideways on your motherboard those it would just be showing the rog logo right there sticking out going so that's pretty much the box guys Anything else, that's everything I really cover for the front. So we got to cut it open from there, guys. So let me get my blade and let's cut this open. Got that cut. Kind of almost sealed it as I pressed it down. Let's open this up. Let's see what it says, guys. Oh. It's not like the motherboard, guys. It's not like the motherboard box when it says welcome to ROG. I guess they already know we're welcome. Oh, right away, guys. Hopefully there's stickers in here. I want stickers. ROG Strix Fusion 300, the 7.1 gaming headset. Just a little bit of information on that. They want you to buy that and all that. Set that aside. We have some Republic of Gamers stickers to put on your graphic card itself, guys. You guys can see that, there's a few in there. And this is some Republic of Gamer side. I believe these are some. Oh, these are Republic of Gamer Velcros, guys. That's badass. Some Republic of Gamer Velcros in here. Set those aside. Let's pull out the main thing itself. That's electrostatic, so you can yep. put the board on that on actually. That great thing. Yep. And the bottom, we have the SUS in search of incredible speed setup 
and the Strix Gaming Graphic Card V version 1 1379 ASUS, the disc. And this is just the graphic card booklet, you guys see that. The main thing itself, guys, is the graphic card. So let me just slide this up, pull this out, actually. Yeah, it's an electrostatic I'll set bed. that over there. And let me just move the box, and let me just clean the background up, and let me show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, I got the ESD bracelet on, just to make sure I don't fry this thing up, because it's in the bag, you gotta hook up the motherboard. And let's open this bad boy up. There's a little tape on the back. Let's pull that. That open. And let's slide this bad boy out, guys. Oh my god, guys. Oh, lost focus. One sec, sorry. Yeah. It's beautiful, guys. You can see it's huge. Look how thick that is. Look at the cooling. It's like exhaust going on over there like exhaust pipes guys this thing is badass you guys can see that guys got exhaust pipes and stuff you guys got the fan going down there some cooling you guys can see like aluminum pads the rog logo there rog logo there a suicide logo strix stuff's gonna light up the back of it you can see the rog logo again there's a protective film on it so it has a suicide right there you guys can see the bottom. Let me show you guys the back. It has the DVI plugs, the HDMI, and the DPI. Sorry about that. I'm putting it too high. <laughs> and you guys can see that's what I was talking about, that aluminum style brush and all that. So guys, let me just quickly change the lens and I'll give you guys a quick close up on how really badass it really looks and all that. All right guys, as you guys can see, close up of it, how it looks from the side and all that. The port, and you guys can see the spacing and all that, the Strix and all that. Let me slide it over on this side, that's how it looks. Over here, those are the pipes I was talking about, the cooling pipes and all that. They're going awesome. there, and there's a space. It's kind of hard to see, there's a metal, aluminum. Um, there the bracket which is going through there like a radiator fan type thing and that's the ports guys those are the ports I'm talking about DP HDMI stuff like that hold on I'm trying to and this is the DVI connection let me just focus on the ports it's steady okay so those are the ports right there there's the HDMI DP the DV ports and it's the fans. You guys can see the SUS fan, the ROG logo, and that's pretty much how it looks. And the SUS writing right there as well has a little bit of SUS gold touch right there. That is you guys awesome. can see that. And there's a serial number right there. If you guys are wondering how to locate your serial number on your graphic card. Uh, I'm gonna be peeling all this plastic after guys. But yeah. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And check out the next part of the GeForce GTX 1050i video when we show you guys how to install the PCI Express and how to install this graphic card into that desktop, guys. Take care.